Hey, I'm Stephanie Rubitz. Welcome to my channel. About a month ago, I posted a video about a bra supply haul that I had ordered and I was super excited for. And I got a comment on that video. Kat Reed commented, water soluble thread, great for toiling bras, no unpicking and the fabric doesn't get mangled. Looking forward to the makes. How did I not know this was a thing? Water soluble thread, are you kidding me? You best leave right away. I went and ordered two different uh, water soluble threads, um, which I'm thinking now I should probably keep in a bag because if we have a humid day, it could actually maybe make them deteriorate. I don't know. Seems like a thing I should worry about. Um, there were several different brands. Most of them were a polyfilament, um, which is what this was. So I only ordered one brand of this because I thought they're probably all very similar. Then I got another one. Um, this one is the Smart Solve Water Soluble Thread, and it was um, said to be organic, biodegradable, um, which is, that's my jam. So um, I got this one and it is so thick. And it did, it, it was represented as a very thick thread in the photo um, online, but I just kind of was like, oh, well it says you can use it in your machine and it says for garment sewing, so maybe, the photo is like you know how mock photos sometimes aren't really reliable so i i have ordered it hoping that it would be thinner than it is um yeah it's not it's not awesome for sewing i definitely won't put it through my machine um yeah i'm bummed out about this all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to do uh, a sampling of stitches i'm just gonna i'm gonna take this um th and this is actually it's really thin um i'll put it down on the table so you can really see how fine this thread is but it, it seems to be fairly strong um so i'm gonna run this one through my machine i'm not gonna bother putting um like filling a bobbin up with this stuff because the goal is to get the seam to let go so if one side of the stitch lets go then the other side will let go as well um so in the interest of time and not wasting this stuff uh i'll just use like a bobbin of whatever thread that i have in there um this i will sew by hand because i just i'll spend all day messing with tension and stuff trying to get that and i don't think yeah it's just it's just too thick it's not gonna go through so we're not gonna do that uh and then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna put a bowl of water on my table i'm gonna dissolve it we're gonna see how fast they dissolve how easy it is um and yeah we're gonna we're gonna play around with this we're gonna experiment it's gonna be fun because science, why not? All right, let's take a look at our thread. So for comparison purposes, I have just like a regular piece of sew all thread at the top there. Um, this bottom one is the organic biodegradable thread. And this middle one is the um, lightweight polyfilament thread. So you can see there really is a huge difference in the weight of those threads. So I've gone ahead and I've just done um, like a basting stitch and a regular sewing stitch and a zigzag stitch all with the polyfilament um, thread. And you can see I probably would have to mess with my tension a bit if I was actually going to do a project with this because it kind of um, bunched up a little bit and it skipped a couple of stitches. And I've got a fairly new needle so I don't think that was the issue. Um, but yeah, I would have to play with it a little bit if I were actually going to do a project with this. But for today's purposes, I just left it as is. As for the biodegradable stuff, I'm just <laughs> sewing that by hand. But let me tell you, I used a sharp, fairly thick embroidery needle and it was incredibly difficult to pull that stuff through um, a couple of layers of broadcloth. So yeah, I just, I can't actually see this being a very beneficial thread um, for anything, to be honest, which I'm super bummed about because, you know, I'm like, yeah, team biodegradable. Okay, so I've got my bowl of warm water and I'm gonna start with the polyfilament thread and we're just gonna see how it dissolves, how fast it dissolves. And wow, yeah, like that's actually pretty incredible. It just, it, it's like gone. Holy jeez. Wow. 
wow, I'm really impressed with how fast that came apart. There's my bobbin thread. Um, I just left like regular thread in my bobbin. So there that is. It just, that was immediate. It was just gone. Wow. I'm, yeah, I'm taken aback. I will admit it. All right, let's check out the other stuff. Neither of these had instructions, by the way, about like if I had to run it through a washing machine or what temperature the water should be or anything like that. Um, so I just did lukewarm thinking, nah, sure, why not? Um, so yeah, I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, weird, it's shrinking. <laughs> Uh, that is strange. Oh, it's kind of like curling up a little bit. And I kind of have to pick at it to get out. Like it's letting go, but it's not dissolving totally like the other stuff did. And it kind of feels actually like a rice noodle. Honestly, I feel like just unpicking the seam would be just as quick. It does come out though. It just, you kind of got to play around with it. Maybe this one would work better if you actually ran it through the wash. But it, I mean, it did come out. All right, so there is um, something else I want to mention about these. So I, I got this thick stuff. I ordered it because it was biodegradable um, and like, supposedly organic. Um, and that's, that's my jam. That's something I care about. And this is a polyfilament. Now I tried to do some digging and really like figure out what a polyfilament is. I mean, poly it's, it's obviously oil based. Um, my best guess is that it's a polymer. Um, there are water soluble polymers that are like used to thicken paint, like latex paint and stuff like that. And that seemed to be my best guess of what this is. So, I mean, for me, I, I would probably only use this in um, doing practice bras so that I could save the elastic and stuff like that. However, um, you know, when I do a regular practice garment, like all of that fabric, I, I don't very often wind up picking apart those seams, that's fabric that's going to get chopped up and used in pillows and stuffies and, and all that kind of stuff. Or my kids are going to cut it apart and use it for projects. So really how, how much polymer is in this as compared to rinsing out a latex paintbrush? Um, but I mean, I, and I'm not saying use it or don't use it. I'm just saying if you are somebody who is looking for sustainable, environmentally friendly, ways to sew if you're somebody who is going to the effort of um, choosing sustainable fabrics that are are not harming the environment this might this might not be the choice that you go with if you're trying to make a difference where you can um, this might not be your thing but if you're somebody who's thinking well in comparison to rinsing out a paintbrush that's maybe not that big of a deal um, everybody's gonna have their own opinion on it but in in trying to have a good overall look um, at this, I did I did try and find out really what this was. We do know that these dissolvable poly products are having an effect on our environment. So I leave it to you. And that's all I have for our investigation into dissolvable threads. And so thank you so much, Cat Reed, for bringing to my attention the wizardry that is water soluble thread. I just, my mind was absolutely blown. I wanted to, to, to show you all. Um, and maybe it's something that's going to be useful for some of you out there. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button below and I will see you next time where we're actually going to start like doing practice bras.